Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Mary. I combine my knowledge in accounting and finance and my experiences to help young couples, young individuals, and young families on how to budget, save, invest, and build real wealth. I also throw in lifetime videos on daily tips as a mom. I'm a mom of two. So if you're interested in topics like this, please subscribe to my channel and join the party. So I've decided to start this channel by doing a series on budgeting. So as we all know, budgeting is the fundamental of money management. So understanding how to budget properly and smartly is one of the key aspects of money management. So if you haven't checked out my last video, I have a video um, below. I'm going to list it below on the five reasons why you need to start budgeting. So on today's topic, we're going to be talking about the smartest method in which families can budget their finances. But before we do that, I just want to highlight some of the budgeting methods that we have out there. We have the 50, 30, 20 rule, which is what I'm going to be talking about today. We have the zero-based budget. We have the value-based budget and the cash envelope. So on today's video, we are going to be talking about the 50, 30, 20 rule with a little twist. And I'm going to highlight that at the end. Please note that there are pros and cons to all these methods. And it should also be noted that personal finances are personal and there's no one size fit for everyone. So whatever works for you, you should implement it. So the most important thing is to be able to create a budget and follow it strictly. That's what is most important. And another important aspect about money management is that 80% of your attitude, your behavior, accounts for your success in managing your money. And 20% is just your knowledge. So this is something that you should put into consideration when, once you're considering creating a budget to yourself and following that. So let's get to the topic of today. So what is the 50-30-20 rule? The 50-30-20 rule is the rule that was developed by Elizabeth Warren to help individuals to be able to allocate their finances appropriately. So what does the rule state? The rule actually states that 50% of your take-home pay after tax income should be allocated towards your needs. 30% of your after-tax income should be allocated to your wants and 20% to your savings. So if you're confused what a want and a need is, I'm gonna give you a little definition. So a want is a desire, something you wish to have, while a need is a necessity, something that is required. So I'll give you an illustration by turning on the camera to my laptop or to my um, diagram so you can actually see. So imagine this pie chart to represent your financial portfolio. And by using the 50-30-20 rule, 50% 50 of your income should be allocated to items such as housing, that is payment of rent and your mortgage. Food, that is buying of groceries. And remember, eating out or in expensive restaurants are not included in this category. Transportation, payment of your car, utilities, healthcare. God forbid something happens, you want to have medical insurance to cover up for your expenses. Minimum debt payment. So this includes payment on your credit card because this will help you maintain a good credit score. The other 30% should go towards ones. Items such as vacation and entertainment. Life gets crazy, so it's important to take time off to rest. Restaurants. Once in a while, as a couple, it's important to take date night, take time out to enjoy yourself. And this is rewarding because it gives you that fulfillment to come back to work harder. So you can always have those memorable times. Hobbies. It's important to do what you're also passionate about in life. And this will give you um, fulfillment. I also personally like to include tight and offering in this category for me as as an individual and the final category is to allocate 20 percent for savings and investment and retirement in this case you are talking about contributing into your rrsp if you're in canada 401k if you're in america 
investment in say bonds, stock market, or saving towards starting a business. I strongly discourage saving in a bank because you end up losing the money or the value of that money. And saving towards emergency. This was highlighted more in my last video and the rule of thumb is to save three to six months of expenses in your emergency. So this is very critical for you. So now you will notice that 30% was allocated to want and 20% to savings. So this is where the little twist comes in. So if, if you're trying to get ahead a lot faster and you want to meet your financial goals a lot faster, this is what you should do. You can simply switch the chart a little bit by allocating 30% to savings and investing and 20% to want. Reason being that by investing more, saving more, you have available funds to use in creating more wealth and attaining your financial freedom that you desire. A second twist to this rule is for low income earners or people who realize they are unable to cover all their needs just with 50% of their income. In this case, you, knew, you can use the new rule of the 75-15-10 rule. This rule actually states that 75% of your income should now be used for needs, 15% should be allocated to savings and investment, and 10% towards ones. So the same theory just as the 50-30-20 rule. So in this case, now you'll be using the 75-15-10 rule. To my African family, if you have, say, families abroad or families back home that are always requesting for money, for financial support, drop in the comment section below what category you think that this expense should go to. I know this might sound simple and easy, but until you create a budget and try to follow it before you realize the importance of actually doing this exercise and following this rule to ensure that you can manage your money appropriately. If you have any comment or any question, please drop it below and I will answer or respond to any of your concerns. And don't forget to share because a family member or anybody that knows you might benefit from this information thank you so much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up or to subscribe in our next video i'll be sharing with you a breakdown of how to actually create a budget and how to split your income amongst couples so i look forward to seeing you in my next video thank you